I think as a working parent, failure is inevitable. Like I think the system was set up for working parents to fail, specifically parents in a dual income home, because it is nearly impossible to do all the things that we need to for our kids while maintaining a full-time job, unless you have a ton of flexibility, which I am very blessed to have. And even with flexibility, it's so incredibly difficult. Right now I'm sitting in the parking lot of my daughter's school. She has a speech IEP. So she comes here twice a week for services. And the best times they could give me were like 10 30 to 11 AM or 2 PM. And so I took this one cause it was the less inconvenient time, but it's still inconvenient. I spend 30 minutes driving to her school, picking her up, bringing her here, waiting here in the parking lot while I work and take calls and answer emails and then drive her back. And so that's an hour out of my work day. And what ends up happening is I make that up at the end of the work day. I make that up in the evenings. I make that up at all different times. And so as a working parent, I have so little time for myself because between these things like services or um, even kids activities or dentist appointments, like doctor's appointments, I find that every week there's a day where I'm like, okay, I have to stop working at four because I have to pick up this kid and I have to bring them to this appointment. And then I end up coming home, we do dinner, bedtime, and then I work till 10 PM. It's like you're set up to fail and you either feel like you're failing yourself, your kids, your employer, and you're exhausted and burnt out. And I think so many homes are dual income homes because they have to be these days. And the system is still set up in a way that does not allow them to thrive. Like it's difficult to thrive. And ultimately I feel like everybody fails and failure might look different for everyone. And I know so many women in particular who are leaving the workforce and they're not even leaving the workforce when their kids are one, two or newborn. They're leaving when their kids are five, six, because it feels so difficult to accommodate your kids needs and also be a good employee and also find time for yourself, 